Ladies and gentlemen, in your respective ranks and qualities, we are honoured to welcome you all in this magnificent Théâtre de Liège for the 8th award ceremony of 3D Stereo Media. This evening consists of several parts. The first part will be devoted to the Advanced Imaging Society's Lumiere Awards, followed by the Best Project and Pitch Award from the newly created 3D Film Booster. Then, we'll present all of the 3D Guild Awards. As in previous editions, we'll have the pleasure to discover a 3D movie made by a group of students from Liège. And, to close the ceremony, we'll watch a marvellous 3D short film, an episode of the German series Legacy of the Gods, titled Nepal. But, before we start, let's take a brief look back in time and show you just how old 3D really is. For hundreds of millions of years, nature has endowed the vast majority of human beings with vision in 3D, or stereoscopic vision. The Tarsier, the smallest primate in the world, lives in the forests of Southeast Asia and has the best stereoscopic vision. Man has always wanted to copy nature. The same goes with stereoscopic vision. Charles Wheatstone was one of the first to create a machine that reproduced binocular vision. He was an English physicist from the 19th century who invented the mirror stereoscope in 1838. The beginning of cinema quickly gave the first filmmakers the desire to project an image in three dimensions. The first attempts were attractions in fairgrounds, which either amused or frightened the public, depending upon their subject matter. The arrival of digital cinema in the 2000s revolutionized 3D because it brought technology that achieves extraordinary vision quality and comfort. James Cameron's avatar quickly became a symbol of the 3D digital age. But man did not stop there. He now goes beyond the reproduction of reality. Today, virtual, augmented and mixed reality bring stereoscopic vision to the new technology that will educate, enthrall and entertain generations in our near future. Although technology is essential, it's only a successful tool when put in the hands of capable artists who give it life and create stories and worlds that are more and more realistic and engaging. And tonight in Liège, we will celebrate these men and women from all over the world who operate stereoscopic vision technologies for the benefit of art and for our delight. To introduce the first awards, ladies and gentlemen, Please give a big round of applause to Mr. Jim Chabin, President of the Advanced Imaging Society. 